So we're delighted to be joined by Athletics Ireland President John Cronin to look ahead to what is a big weekend for Donegal Athletics. John, it's good to see you. Good to talk to you, and welcome along to the to the airwaves of Highland Radio once again. Thanks, Ashin. Uh, delighted, delighted to um, be on on your show. Obviously, we're looking forward to to a massive event this weekend, John. Uh, for just the second time ever, the national. Cross country championships are coming to Donegal. It was in Fun Valley in '99. We've had a, a bit of a wait. It's heading to Ross Pena on Sunday, and this is a big thing for Donegal Athletics and for people involved in Donegal Athletics to have an event of the stature and size here. It, it certainly is, and I'm delighted that that um, the championships are are coming to Donegal. Um, Donegal has played a huge part in Irish athletics over the years, and. A lot of the athletes have have started off on Friday evenings and Saturday mornings and Sunday evenings heading to arts and parts all around the country. So it, it's great, great to have the championships in home ground and a return again. Finn Valley hosted the championships, a very successful senior championships back in '99. So um, it, well, well done to Cranford and all those involved in in applying for and getting the championships. And I know they've been working very hard since. Yeah, it's been a huge effort by the club there. And I suppose one man in particular, we've mentioned him a lot in the build-up to this event, uh, and uh, we're going to mention him now as well, Eamon Giles. Eamon, yeah, Eamon is the, is the powerhouse uh, behind uh, Cranford AC. Um, as we all know, he was one of the founder members of Jim Hunter in 1961, and he's still going. Athletics Ireland had the wisdom many years ago to appoint him uh, an honorary life vice president and he didn't. He didn't sit down on his hands after that. He's he's kept going and continues to uh, to to turn out so many athletes um, o- over the years, ranging from uh, Danny McDade, who who has been an absolute uh, superstar uh, in 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 the seventies, um, won the two Olympics, finishing eleventh in the world cross country, right right through to the mo- modern day athletes where where. Um, Keelan McFadden and Nash and Kelly have been um, on 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 the podium many times, and hopefully they'll do well on Sunday. And um, in the meantime, uh, people have come through the club, like uh, Amber Barrett is is a great example, has, has a very successful juvenile career, and she's gone on to other aspects uh, of the sport. And there's also so many so many other people. Who who have who have moved on from the club uh, after their careers? Um, Paddy Marley, who was an international, moved into Clondiff. Um, Patsy McGonigal has moved into Pin Valley, and you see the success story there. And so many um, danger leaving out names. So so uh, there's there's it's endless. You you you'd, you'd fill your whole show. Yeah, yeah, and I suppose it's it's fitting too that this event has been has been hosted by Cranford, and it, and it's a great tribute to have an event of this size to to honour somebody like Eamon Giles who's put in who's put in so much work. But you left the county um a while ago, so you did join. You went you went away to to, to university, and and you you never returned in a in a full time capacity. But what's the reaction been like with athletes and those involved in athletics further down the country? You're based in Tullamore uh, ahead of this event. Uh, what's their thinking now? Is they have to make the the trip north to Donegal? Is it something they're looking forward? To? Is it the challenge something that they're looking forward to? Yeah, there's there, there's there's been a lot of chat, a lot of talk about it. Uh, it's 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 all quite positive. You 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 you'll get the odd person uh, bemoaning the the distance and everything else. And uh, I I just tell them that that it's it's kind of um, a principle of of mathematics that the distance between uh, there to Donegal is exactly the same as Donegal back. So so uh, I normally accept that. And and you know it, it's great to be honouring Cranford. 60 for 60 first anniversary and then all the clubs who came after them who 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 I said earlier in the show that you know they they've been continually heading down the country so so I I think it's it's been a very positive reaction a lot of people are are, look, are looking forward to it and it's, it's going to be it's going to be a very scenic course um uh, for for the championships to be held on you know yeah it certainly is and I suppose as a Donegal native it's Proud, it'll be a proud weekend for you too, John, having them down in your home patch. Ah, absolutely. Uh, as as a young athlete, I I I I, I had the uh, pleasure of training on the Rosapenna golf course uh, at the time. It 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 certainly was 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 a privilege, uh, and I would say the 
the surface was was as good as any any track in the country, you know. To, and uh, and we we did a, a lot of speed work there on the ninth fairway, so that 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 helped us. And Cranford continues to to use those facilities, which are kindly kindly donated by the the Casey family, who who made a big contribution to to this event, you know. Yeah, uh, it'll be a proud day for you have, having the event uh, in Donegal. But I'm sure there was a lot of proud moments. Uh, over the last uh, year or so for you, John, and maybe one in particular when a Donegal man picked up a, a bronze medal at a European Championship in the form of Mark English. You were you were out there at the competition. Absolutely, I was I was wearing two hats. Uh, I was technical delegate for European Athletics, so I was responsible for the for the whole whole competition, and um, uh, I was delighted to see both Kira and um, and Mark uh, win their medals and. Um, the, the stadium in Munich is is uh, fifty years old, fiftieth anniversary this year, and there's there's absolutely no mod cons like lifts or escalators in it. So um, it was something um, over uh, over one hundred and sixty steps up to where 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 I was positioned. But uh, but uh, I I was very proud to announce to my colleagues that I was taking a few minutes off to to go down to the mix zone to to congratulate Mark and. When I got down there, I was very delighted to, very delighted and proud to congratulate Mark, as I was with Kira and Athletics Ireland had their best ever European Championships with two podium places and eleven uh, top eight, and that was um, that was a fantastic, and it was the whole spectrum of ages. We had some very young athletes like Rafidad and uh, Israel coming into the sport and. The more experienced like Mark and Kira doing doing fantastic work, and of course there was a Donegal connection there as well. Teresa McDade was team manager, so so I was delighted to to meet her in the mix zone as well. So um, we were all quite happy. Yeah, was it a was the European Championships then a timely boost for Irish athletics and the, and the performances that of those that was out there was was it something that the sport needed in the country, John? Absolutely, uh, it's it's been building. Uh, there, there's there's been a lot of young talent coming through, and this, and after COVID, um, you know, uh, like like air, like all sports, uh, we suffered over over the over the few years, so it was really, um, you know, uh, fantastic to 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 see it all come into fruition. You know, like we had a busy year with Oregon, and we had, um, under under. Um, under twenties in Colombia, and we had, uh, of course, the juniors in Jerusalem with F- Finton winning winning a fantastic medal, and uh, we even had underage uh, developmental squads going over to Bedford and and doing doing very well. But Munich really was 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 a showcase for us, and uh, at the time we we had a sig- significant. Um, with the GA program the way it was, we we, we managed to capture uh, the airwaves and. Um, Thanks to Highland Radio as well for the tremendous support that they gave us throughout yeah. the championships. But it's all about building on it now, isn't it, John? It's one thing doing it; you just can't you can't stand still. You have you have to keep moving and and targeting upwards. No, absolutely. Our, our high performance team are, are continually working to, to 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 build on it, and um, that that that's that's the um, that's the whole idea uh, is to to build on it. To uh, Paris is not so far away, and um, we're we're also looking looking out to the European Championships in uh, 2024, and we were delighted to hear the news during the week that the 2026 European Championships, which is the European Championships in a non-Olympic year like like this year, will be hosted in Birmingham, which would be as good as a home gig for us, you know. So so it, 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 it's it's a lot to lot to look forward to. Yeah, and just yeah, even in a shorter term, based on Sunday's results. We'll be picking the team, or the team will be picked to go to Turin. Uh, yeah, to build on the Eurocross. From yeah, last year. that's what I was going to touch on. That there's a lot at stake for, of course, these these Irish athletes. So the cream of the crop's going to be going to be in Rossa Pena come Sunday, and fingers crossed that the that they get the weather for it because the course is going to be in fantastic condition. Was, uh, that sort of link surface always is, and 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 it can handle weather. But I think the weather's given for good, John. So it's going to make for some for some fast running and some uh, for spectators some impressive action too. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I've been I've been looking at the weather, and hopefully, um, the weather will be kind to us. We're looking for a dry day. Um, 
and not too much wind and and uh, the course course will take care of itself uh, it's 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 going to be um it's going to be going to be a brilliant course and it'll, it'll be testing testing for everybody and we have the cream of the crop um the cream of the crop running there and it will be merging in with um the American Collegiate Championships to run Saturday and the with, with some good results there the the team will, will be picked to head to Turin and try and build on the huge success we had we had in Dublin last year yeah as we look forward to an exciting weekend of athletics uh, John Cronin president of Athletics Ireland many thanks for joining us today thanks very much Ashin and thank you for your continued support of our wonderful sport